Well, it's 3.30 in the morning, Saturday morning, and Charlie's wondering what he's gotten into. <laughs> They're all agree to go anywhere with Chris because they keep you up till midnight and get you up to 3.30. Well, I mean, three and a half hours is all the oh, yeah, all the sleep you need for champions. I said, I said four. four. Four? Well, you should have went to bed earlier. Yeah, no, yeah. That <laughs> I'll remember that next time. When we got it. <laughs> we got us a little road trip this morning. Let's get going. We got to go to Pennsylvania this morning. Well, it's about 7 a.m. now. We are about, about 60 miles from Washington, D.C. Come through Richmond when the snow started. Looks like they got some snow last night. Everything's pretty, pretty snowy up here, but luckily the roads are holding good, so we're easing on along. Just taking it easy. We'll get here when we get there. Ain't that right? Yeah, it's not when you get there, it's getting there. It, it's getting there. If you get there. So we're, we're gonna get there. It might be a little later, but we're gonna get there. Uh, we're 84 miles from Washington, D.C. Oh, nah, oh. Close, close. I mean, we'll get there too. Oh. Alrighty, we'll check back in in a little while. Well, we finally made it out of all the freezing rain. It only took about four hours. We're not too far from Baltimore now. Luckily, it's dried up and the roads are dry, so it is clear sailing now. All the way to Pennsylvania we go. Well, Charlie, we have made it to Pennsylvania. I don't even know what to say. Just, just keep I doing what you're doing for I another hour. Excited. <laughs> hey, at least the roads are dry. Oh, that's for sure. Uh, we're gonna get up here and get this dozer and we're gonna hightail it on back, aren't we? Freezing rain in the dark ain't a whole that, lot of fun. No, that was not my cup of tea at all, so. I was having flashbacks to that video that we watched about. We don't even talk, need to talk about that. Fort Worth. Holy crap. We, uh, we'll be in the freezing rain on the way back, but at least it'll be daylight. We're gonna throw this dozer on here and ain't gonna chain it down. We're gonna let gravity hold Gravity and the wind will keep it in. <laughs> <laughs> it's insured. Charlie, what are all those dozer blades over there? I don't know. Listen, I think those are pickup truck dozer are blades. Are those pickup sure truck dozer, dozer blades? We, we don't have stuff like that back home. We had a lot of that in Canada. But <laughs> God almighty. Everybody get damn cars with them. And we have arrived. Well, there it is. Charlie, we finally made it up here. <laughs> it only took, what, seven and a half hours to get here? It is. It's only 10.45 in the morning. It's all right. I'll drive on the way home. Right? <laughs> Oh, there it is, 2016 Komatsu D39. Got about a little over 600 hours on it. What do you think, Charlie? I like it. I really do. It's, I mean, I look how the C frames build. I mean, it's heavy duty. I mean, they've, they've compacted them up a little bit. I mean, I just, I don't know. I like it. They're a good dozer. We haven't had any problems with that other one I had. And I like the sweeps on it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You don't right? have to worry about knocking a branches, hitting anything. Yeah, I've had. You are. You're I, always uh, yeah, I'm. You know, counterweights and stuff. When I take it, I just drive it right straight through the woods. I've been telling you, just Got go ahead and clear your spot. Then window your guards on it. <laughs> that's right. And that's bull crap. Well, let's get this thing fired up and put it on the truck. We can do a uh, walk around when we get home, right? Yes, sir. Get back before you start. That's right. All right. So, you sure you can run this thing? I think there's a lot of switches and stuff. I don't know if the door's big enough to get it out. Come on now. What is it? 24 feet tall? 
Oh, yes. Oh, beauty mess. Just keep the blade down. You'll be all right. Blade down. I'll be all right. Yeah. Hmm. Choke it! Oh no, there is a lot of switches and stuff, I'm afraid to say. Turn the key, put it in neutral. See, there you go, too many switches. I, you know, everybody, look at that, look at that. Everybody thought I was making a joke. It's exciting. see good out of it. Let Charlie get broke down. We're going to uh, get this bad boy loaded up and turn and burn back south. Try to get home before it gets dark since we're uh, over with. We, drove, we left about 4 o'clock this morning. All right. Oh, yeah. Amish. Uh, Mennonite country. I was going to say Amish, but Mennonite is...
what I should say. Nice draft horse. Oh, all right. Doesn't stick over much. But fine. Let me hook up, and let me build an air, and we'll chain it down. All right. We're all loaded up, ready to go. I've paid the man, so he's gonna let us leave. Got a skid steer bucket too. We can't never just get one thing, can we, Charlie? Well, we could, but we don't. <laughs> I mean, we had all this extra trailer space. You can't leave all this extra trailer space empty. Well, there she is, all nice and clean. It's gonna have some some salt on it by the time we get home, unfortunately. But we're ready to go. Leave this snow behind. It comes to be <laughs> There's a lot of. We're pulling out with it. Oh, can you even see it back there? The window's got so much road salt on it. We're uh, loaded down and. Heading home. Right here, right? Yeah, take a right, right here. This stop sign. The heater works good in here now. Turn right on West Exit Road and take the first right. Somebody didn't swing wide enough and knock the sign down. It looks like. Then take another right, yep. Then that oh, little. It's exciting. If we make one more right, we'll end up where we come from. Maybe not. Then we'd have to. Weird roads around here. Then we'd have to do it again. You got a truck coming. Take a chance. He he decided he was gonna wait for you. Oh, well, he was turning anyways. made it exactly an hour and the ice is already starting to form on the windshield and everything. Mm. But they're putting out lots of salt. They're putting out lots of salt so hopefully that'll keep everything where it needs to be and that is melted. We'll just have to uh, Truck and trailer up there yeah, we're doing some good power washing for sure. 
Well, we're about two and a half hours from home. No, we're right at three hours from home. Got, uh, at least we're able to go almost the speed limit now. The roads are just wet, but they got a lot of snow up here. While we were uh, north of it, but luckily the roads have gotten better. Traffic's flowing, and probably the last video before we get home. It's gonna be dark soon. Well, Charlie, 17 hours later, there's the light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> Lord, 17 hours of driving and sleep. Sleep, bridges, freezing rain, moron snow, drivers, morons driving down the road, spinning around the road in front of you, spinning out in front of you, home, sweet home. I don't know about you, but I'm hungry. Yeah. Okay. Well, I know I should. <laughs> Let's go get some dinner. You've you've earned your keep today. Oh, come on. Hey, Winston. You ready to go get breakfast? My new toy arrived. We got home late last night and needless to say that's just uh, where it ended. Hey Winston, what do you think of my new play toy? Looks great, Dad. And a bucket. Hey, let's go get breakfast. Come on. Ooh, the salt got to the blade. It was shiny. <laughs> well, we had a good ride home yesterday. It's turned into last night. And uh, we pulled up here to the house and just uh, shut her down. And so we're worried about this this morning. So. It's amazing how rusty everything got just from all that salt spray going down the road. So I'm going to unload this and power wash it off real good. Charlie's going to do the same with the truck. Everything stayed put. I'll go get the skid steer and uh, so I'll try that bucket out a little bit later. I'm just letting the dozer and the truck warm up, getting all the flags off. And, uh, we'll get it unloaded. I'm super happy about it. People like to see how this is done. It's like flushing the globe. You don't take it. You just you don't know what to do. You just do it. <laughs> you can't remember doing it. It's tight. You always disconnect those. If not, the truck will when you pull forward. Yeah. It happens. I've done it once. Once? It's always done it. <laughs> so pretty much the neck hangs on those two pins right there. And uh, there's a locking pin right there that lock, latches in there. Throw the ramps down and good to go. It's really not a whole lot that holds it together if you really think about it. Let me back it off. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's a hell of a day at sea, sir. Luckily, when you have a good enough undercarriage, you don't make a step. Yeah, no, that's right. You got grousers instead. Lord, was I happy to see this driveway last night. Oh. All the scales were closed. It was great. We ran out of hours. I threw my log book out the window. It's 
nice little dozer right there. You're gonna have to work on that, getting that blade flat on the ground though. I can see that. Well, the driveway taper. Oh, yeah, oh, it's, it's not, okay, it's uh, not the operator, it's the driveway, drain okay. It. I mean, the blade's flat on the uh, Okay, well, that's good. <laughs> Let's okay. see if you can hook back up in one shot. Oh, yeah, no, I probably can. If not, you can try again after we put the ramps up. That uh, that ramp right there is gonna need some TLC before long. I got two new ones. You just wanted to get the. Oh, okay, you just wanted to get the the life out of those first. Every mile on those ramps that I can get, I'm throwing money with. We got too excited unloading the uh, dozer and forgot to take the bucket off. We had to had to get the tractor uh, down here and uh, scoop the bucket off. See if Charlie can get this hooked back up. I get out of his way and he can head on back to uh, South Carolina. object is to never turn the steering wheel right and you'll line right back up no really you're looking down the wheel line that up you look at it before you pull off and if you're on an angle you want to pull it back to the same spot and i can be on an angle and pull it back in yeah and it's this one's got some wear so it's close <laughs> it's close and it'll find the it'll, way home you can let the pressure off it and hit the pin and pull it up in there I've kept you away. <laughs> In inclement weather. Well, I appreciate everything. <laughs> weather was not great, but we made it. Took a little longer than expected, but we got it. So, all right, we'll have you a safe trip. Okay, so I just spent a few minutes checking over everything, looking at stuff. You've got uh, pretty much heat on your feet down here. You got low and high. Keep your feet nice and warm. And then you also have your air conditioned defrost and heat switch over here. All your fans, all your vents up here. You got one, two, three, four, five for your heat and AC. There's your dial switch for that. Power. 24 volt, 12 volt, ashtray, that don't need to be used. Cup holder, throttles right here. Cut that down so you can hear. Headlights for the daytime, keeps that, the, 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 the display screen bright uh, during the nighttime, dims it down. And then your backup headlights, uh, pretty much a key switch, decelerator pedal, so as you're dozing you got a wide open throttle coming up to a end of a push you decel down shift back knock a few rpms off and give it back some go-go juice uh let's see i haven't even gone through these buttons right here but that's let's figure out what these are that's what is that oh you got your reverse speed um you can have it where when you shift backwards it'll go slower or faster than forwards when you back up say you want to push in first but back up in second you just set it right there uh, engine temperature what's that your gear oil fuel hydraulic and uh, def fluid it does have def fluid I have to look at these I don't know if this thing's got a book or not if not I can probably find one little panel there horn so the blade control over here up down and uh, tilt right, tilt left, 
And what's different on this one from the other Komatsu is the other one you would twist the blade uh, to angle it. This one has a little toggle switch right here. So up is tilt to the right or angle to the right, pull it back, angle to the left. So as you can tell, the view is just like phenomenal out of these dozers. You have like no hood because the radiator and everything is behind the machine now in the back. Uh, up here you have five wipers, well four wipers, one wash. You have your your left and your center and your right and then the one on the rear. Then you have washer fluid, I think. I don't know. It might not have any in it. Radiator. Oh, radiator. Radio. Sitting there talking about the radiator out the back. So I kind of like the cages. Kind of keeps the windows. If you're if you're trimming out something next to the wood line, some every now and then you'll catch a little tree branch and it'll flop over and hit it. So it's got a full sliding window on each side. And the locks there. I don't know if I mentioned it, but it's got an air ride suspension seat in it, so you can raise it up, let it down, kind of help absorb all those impacts. But other than that, it's it's a really nice dozer. I'm, I'm happy with it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna power wash the salt off of it just from our road trip, and I may take it down there. And it's just extremely wet, but I might have to get down there and. Uh, find a little spot even if it's only 50 feet long and push a little dirt so I was just measuring for the uh, blade here I've got to get a root rake I'm getting a root rake built for it and I had to get a measurement so they knew how high to make the mounting brackets I figured I'd just do one more little walk around of it um, pretty much all that's pretty well identical as far as the other dozer uh, motor still right here all condensed in there they just did a service on it on new air filter fuel filters oil change and hydraulic filter so you can easily access uh, everything right here your dipsticks right there and fuel filter is right there fuel filter and water separator oil filters down in the front uh, exhaust is right there air intake what I do like about this it does have def fluid nothing you know that's just signs of uh progress there's really nothing you can do about it either you're going to run old stuff or you're going to have to deal with it so here we are dealing with it um so def fluid goes right there batteries are in this compartment right here washer fluid uh overflow tank right there what's in here nothing storage i guess for something the hydraulic tank is right here radiator is now in the back of these machines they're trying to do that to help keep prevent uh so much dust getting sucked in there when you're pushing into a pile um that's where all your dust and everything's going to go so now they put that in the back of the machine it's guarded pretty good uh, this machine was set up with topcon gps on it fuel tank is right here in what's in this little compartment uh, fire extinguisher and hydraulic uh, filter is right there. I mean, everything, it's pretty much a 600 hour dozer. Everything is just, you know, been used a little bit. What I do like about the uh, the cage right here, it's, it's pretty easy. They all of them uh, open up. This one, you got to reach in there and grab that handle. But like on the sides right here, um, to easily clean the window, all you got to do is just, you push up on these, pull them out straight. And then this just swivels right out and you can clean the windows and if i decide that uh i don't i'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely keep the one on the back but say i don't want the ones on the side all i have to do is just take out and probably take out these three bolts or these two bolts and just uh take that whole screen off but uh i'm probably just gonna leave it on there because you it doesn't really affect your visibility and uh it really does protect the windows from being damaged and if you really wanted to lock it up you could probably just put a little lock in there and that would keep anybody from opening it up there and I mean somebody wanted to break into it they can just knock the front door out but 
at least it protects some windows if somebody wants to throw a rock at it. Well, there it is. I'm probably uh, going to take it out back and go make a royal mess with it. And then come back up here and power wash it. No need to power wash it and then go uh, play in the mud. So hopefully this will drizzle in pretty soon and I'll take it out back and push a little bit of dirt with it or mud. So I couldn't stand it any longer. I'm gonna come down here and probably make a mess that I'll regret come springtime when I gotta mow, but I'm gonna I'm gonna push a few passes right here, dig a hole and then fill it back in. I may have just created a uh, sinkhole come springtime when I have to mow with the tractor, but it was worth it. I'll, I'll get it. I'll get the tractor unstuck. So. <laughs> that was fun. I guess I need to go ahead and fill that in now before the hole fills up with water.
I got the tracks muddy. And that is as nice as you'll get anything to look with the dozer around here for the next three months. Time to go power wash it. Well, it started to uh, rain pretty good now, so I didn't set the camera up outside washing it, but I got most of the mud power washed off other than the tracks because it'll just get covered back in mud. And uh, sprayed some good soap on it there and got all the salt spray that uh, it got on it coming down the road coming back here off and just pretty much shined it up. So I'm going to take it down there to the shelter and park it. Well, so much for uh, washing the tracks there, but it does fit under the shelter nicely. Just let it sit right here. I got to order a root rake tomorrow and uh, that'll take a week or so to make. And I just pulled the skid steer out because I had it parked there, but I can park it down there on the end. Um, and I just brought the skid steer out here to compare the buckets. They're pretty much identical. That one's four inches wider and it has teeth on it. So it should be about a one yard bucket as well. I'm going to uh, hook to it and try it out and see how well it grades. A huge shout out to Neil Equipment Sales and Rental in Pennsylvania. This is where the dozer uh, came from uh, and also the bucket. So if you like the bucket or a piece of equipment, be sure to check them out.